Hey there, if you're looking for a fun and easy way to earn rewards, including cash and prizes, check out the link in the video description. After Anthony Fauci appeared at a contentious U.S. House hearing on Monday, the former top public health official who led the nation's response to COVID-19 singled out far-right Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene and Fox News as drivers of the credible death threats that he described to lawmakers. Whether it's news media, you know Fox News does it a lot, or it's somebody in the Congress who gets up and makes a public statement that the deaths of X number of people were because of policies or some crazy idea that I created, immediately, it's like clockwork, the death threats go way up, Fauci said in an interview with CNN. The ex-director of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases then alluded to how Georgia's conspiracy theorist Republican congresswoman assailed him during his testimony on Monday, telling CNN host Kaitlin Collins, when you have performances like that unusual performance by Marjorie Taylor Greene in today's hearing, those are the kinds of things that drive up the death threats because there are a segment of the population out there that believe that kind of nonsense. Fauci had earlier told a subcommittee of the U.S. House's Oversight and Accountability Committee that he, his wife and three daughters had been harassed over emails, texts, and mailed letters for his role in recommending activity restrictions aimed at halting the spread of COVID-19, especially at the height of the pandemic in the spring of 2020. Two people had been arrested in connection with credible death threats, said Fauci, who described needing round-the-clock security protection for him and his family. And the harassment continued until the present day, despite his retirement in 2022. Someone clearly was on their way to kill me, Fauci added during his testimony. It is very troublesome to me. It is much more trouble because they've involved my wife and my three daughters at these moments. Fauci's remarks about Taylor Green in his CNN interview apparently stemmed from her suggestions at Monday's hearing that his masking and social distancing recommendations toward the beginning of the pandemic were abusive to the public. Do the American people deserve to be abused like that, Mr. Fauci, because you're not a doctor, you're Mr. Fauci, Taylor Green said at one point on Monday. Meanwhile, in only one instance which illustrates the contempt that conservatives generally held against Fauci during the pandemic. A Fox News commentator sparked outrage in the fall of 2021 by comparing him to Nazi physician Joseph Mengele, who experimented on Jewish people imprisoned in concentration camps during the Holocaust. Sign up to Headlines US. Get the most important US headlines and highlights emailed direct to you every morning, after newsletter promotion. Not every lawmaker Fauci faced on Monday was hostile to him. California's Democratic Representative Robert Garcia apologized to Fauci about the treatment the doctor endured from Taylor Greene and other Republicans, calling her a national embarrassment and him an American hero.